episode name, but he's about to be, ladies and gentlemen, the member of parliament, liberal member of parliament for Thunder Bay, Ken Boschkoff. Ken, welcome to Adler Online. It's great to be on. We're glad to have you on. We were talking earlier. Uh, to David Aiken uh, of uh, CanWest, the Ottawa office, and we were discussing how refreshingly candid you are in how you discuss the green shift, far more candid uh, than your own leader. Now, I'm not expecting you to agree with me when, when I say that. It's just that when you focus on the green shift and promotion of same, you talk about the money and you talk about where it, where it's coming from. And so I'm just wondering if in talking about where it's coming from, that is Alberta oil and, and all the rest of it, uh, rich to poor, the whole Robin Hood deal, I'm just wondering if any of this writing, going public with this, your opinions, if any of this has gotten you into the doghouse with your leader, Stéphane Dion. Uh, no, it hasn't. And I believe that uh, my my pitch very clearly isn't that, that money would... Uh, be taken from anyone uh, or any any province, and I uh, because I, I strongly believe as as a federalist Canadian that uh, that a program such as this is something that we've all been actually seeking that that we really want some balance in in our country and that uh, Alberta will continue to grow and thrive for for many decades and lead the country uh, in growth for a long time to come. Well, I'm sure Albertans are uh, are happy that you're empathetic with them and you, you laugh at the idea that this could could hurt them. But I just want to ask you this a question about your what you published in the netnewsledger.com on on this website. The headline is, and if you want to say that you don't want to take ownership of this headline, that's fine. I just want to give you a chance to respond, Mr. Boschkoff. It says here the shift. This is the headline for the piece that you wrote. The shift will transfer wealth from rich to poor, from the oil patch to the rest of the country. Well, just just to be. Uh... Com- completely honest. That's not how we shipped it out. But he, so the the editor of the of the digital site took that sentence and put it at the top. But uh, because I was calling it the green shift for business, and it, secondarily a green anti-poverty plan. But I, I don't take you know I'm not uh, I, I'm not going to be angry at at the editor for doing that because the sentence is 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 part of the of the article. So. Uh, I'm not backtracking at all. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think it's in the first paragraph, so I want to give you once again a, sure. a chance to uh, to confirm or deny. Uh, it's your article, your uh, byline is there, and uh, you say in the second line, uh, the same thing essentially as the headline, I just want to put this on the record, and you can put your thoughts on the record. You write, the shift, the green shift, will transfer wealth from rich to poor, from the oil patch to the rest of the country, and from the coffers of big business to the pockets of low-income Canadians. So y- you'll confirm that you did write that. Yes. Okay. Uh, why do you suppose Stefan Dion doesn't discuss it in the same manner that the shift is about transferring money from Alberta to other parts of the country? Well, I don't. I don't necessarily. Still, you know, I don't. Well, uh, I see national growth of wealth in this plan uh, to be more equity based. I don't see it depriving of any province to another. I see. Uh, to me, I, I'm optimistic about the plan because it actually, uh, you know, in terms of its balance, actually sees growth in, in other parts of it, and and really the, the targets are are the polluters. And uh, as long as the uh, 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 the oil patch is, is growing at such a tremendous pace, uh, there's they really can do a uh, lot for the rest of the country. I don't doubt that a lot of people feel exactly as you do, and as I say, I just think it's refreshing. I'm not being sarcastic here. It's refreshing that you're being honest about it, but you wouldn't deny that when you say the oil patch, I mean, you, you know your geography, you know where the oil patch is. I do. All right. Uh, so once again, I'll ask you, why is Mr. Dion uh, not leveling with the people of this country in a similar way, saying simply, look, uh, like Willie Sutton once said, uh, you know, when he was asked, why do I rob banks? He said, that's where the money is. Why doesn't Dion just level as you did? Uh, it's in the oil patch. That's where we're going for the dough. Uh, well, <laughs> I, I can't really speak for the leader, and I would never, uh, under any circumstances, uh, uh, attempt to do that. And and I don't really, I truly do not believe that, under any circumstances, that uh, Mr. Dion would would uh, attempt to mislead anyone. He's, that's just not his style, and uh, he's he's too patently honest. Uh, so. Uh, in his analysis of, uh, I would I would have to say that I st- I still back him up that uh, when he talks about uh, 
the the nature of uh, carbon pricing, uh, that we talk about uh, those kinds of things uh, that the rest of the world has been doing, that he just wants Canada to catch up, and I think that's a reasonable goal. All right. When you talk about, and once again I'm quoting you, the shift will transfer wealth from rich to poor, from the oil patch to the rest of the country. I don't want to get overly anal on this, but I do want to examine what your thinking is. Are you making the assumption that everybody living near the oil patch is rich and everybody who's not close to the oil patch is poor? Not at all. Because there are a number, there are a number of people who depend on oil patch wealth in Alberta who I think you might agree, if you, certainly if you visited Alberta, are anything but rich. Absolutely. So, no, it's not in my realm of thinking to think that way. So what about them? What about their jobs? Why should why should they make a sacrifice for this particular plan? I don't believe it would be a sacrifice, uh, Mr. Adler. I, I believe that uh, that the amount of wealth being generated uh, certainly can can carry uh, the responsibility of making sure that the pollution and the emissions that it generates uh, are not a burden on anybody else. And I don't think that's an unfair thing to ask of any corporation. Uh, to be uh, environmentally responsible. Well, corporations hire people, and so we're talking about uh, fewer people being hired. We're talking about a cut into the wealth of all people, not just corporations. And surely you know enough about economics to know that when you attack a corporation, what the corporation then does is take it out of the hides of the people working for them. Yes, I don't, I don't, I don't see any cuts whatsoever. I, I, I see the, the demand. Uh, Continuing, I just see a responsibility in terms of the balancing of, of the, the t total cost, not only to Canada, but to the world, I guess, in terms of our emissions and our leadership in, in environmental stewardship. So you're telling me that uh, you can uh, strap the green shift on to, let's say, Alberta, where, unlike Ontario, they're paying their power bills because of power that is coming from the generation of coal, and therefore they're paying bigger power bills than a lot of people are in Ontario and would pay substantially bigger bills with the green shift. Uh, that would uh, drive the prices of their real estate down. It would drive uh, jobs out. I mean, it would have an economic consequence. I think you, you understand that. That's just economics 101. I, but you're I, telling me that I, the I, only... I, hang on, but you're telling okay. me that the only people are a handful of rich oil people who would pay for this green shift. That's your take on it, sir. Very, I have absolutely, uh, you know, when, when you use, um, uh, you know, wealth, uh, it's, it's not just necessarily a trans, transfer of money, but an expansion of prosperity. And so I, I can't, I can't, I don't see anything but benefits from this. And I, and I really don't believe that given the demand, uh, for, for, energy that anybody would lose a job if uh, stefan dion agreed with you and uh, he was aware that there would be nothing but benefits for the let's just call them the so-called little people or average people in alberta don't you think he would say exactly what you're saying that this is a transfer of wealth from rich to poor from the oil patch to the rest of the country including people living near the oil patch i mean don't you think that he would be as candid as you if he actually believed that because he does have some knowledge of of economics and he, he knows that's not true Sure. Well, uh, I, I, for again, will never, will never say put words in, in yeah. any leader's mouth. But right. I, I would never say that he would, he is not candid or, or uh, if if he has the fault, then he's probably uh, too honest for uh, for what people call the political world. Okay, uh, Mr. Boscow, I'm going to let you off the hook in, in just a second, <laughs> but I just need to, to say this to you. I know you you, you find the thing funny, and no, I appreciate I, the I'm fact. Certainly that... not. L l l l yeah. Okay, I, here, I, here's, here's the deal, Mr. Boschkoff. The reason that Mr. Dion doesn't say what you're saying is, A, he knows that the little people would be making an economic sacrifice, and B, if he said precisely what you're saying, he would no longer have what he wants to have, which is a calling card saying he's about unity. This would be playing off one region against the other, which is what your piece does, whether or not you wanted it to, to sound that way. Yeah. Well, under no circumstances, uh, as a, a Federalist Canadian, would I ever uh, try to play any part of the country against one another. So, uh, and I, I certainly believe very strongly mm -hmm. that Mr. Dion understands the, the nature of Canadian unity. Mr. Boskoff, I appreciate what you've put on, on the website. I appreciate your honesty, and I appreciate uh, the conversation. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Uh, Ken Boschkoff, he's a former mayor of Thunder Bay, and he's now published. If you want this uh, link, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be happy to send it to you. Just email me, adleronline at gmail.com. He has published a piece, the headline of which is taken right out of his column, uh, The Shift Will Transfer Wealth from Rich to Poor from the Oil.